Calculus is simply an advanced version of algebra and geometry that can be used to solve more sophisticated problems. Consider two men pushing a crate. On the left side, a man is pushing the crate in a straight incline. On the right, the man is pushing the same crate in a curved surface. For the straight incline, the man pushes with unchanging force and the crate goes up the incline at unchanging speed. With some simple physics formulas and regular math, we can compute how much energy is needed to push the crate up in the incline. For the curving surface, the things are constantly changing. The steepness of the incline is changing and the man pushes with constantly changing force. That's what makes this situation a calculus problem. Therefore, we can say that calculus is described as the mathematics of change. Calculus takes a problem that cannot be solved by a regular mathematical techniques. Calculus zooms in on the curve till it becomes a straight line. And when the curve becomes a straight line, regular mathematical techniques will finish the problem. These are some problems that can be solved by ordinary algebra and calculus. Differentiation is the process of finding the derivative of the curve or the curve's slope or the steepness. The slope is the ratio of the rise to the run. In a curve, the slope is constantly changing, so we need calculus to determine the slope. By zooming in the curve, the little piece of the curve becomes a straight line, and we can figure the slope using the old-fashioned way of rise over run. This is how differentiation works. A function is a relationship between two things in which the numerical value of one thing is in some way depends on the other value. For example, the pressure of an enclosed gas is function of its temperature. The area of a circle is a function of its radius. The supply of a commodity is a function of the demand. A function has one distinct output for every input. A vending machine is a function because after putting in the input or your money, you will know exactly what the output is. Therefore, a good function has a predictable output. A slot machine is not a function because you cannot predict the output. We can think of a function as a machine. Consider the squaring function x. An input of 2 will result to an output of 4. An input of negative 4 will result to an output of 16. The set of input is called the domain and the set of outputs is called the range. A common way of writing a function is to replace y with f of x. Sometimes other letters are used such as g of x or p of x. These are used to distinguish one function from the other. Consider again our squaring function. When we input negative 4 for x, the output is 16. Remember that f of negative 4 is equal to 16, which means that when x is negative 4, f of x is equal to 16. Equivalently, it tells you that when x is negative 4, y is equal to 16. In a function, the thing that depends on the other thing is called dependent variable. The other thing is the independent variable. Because you plug in numbers into the independent variables, it is called the input variable. When we graph a function, the independent variable goes on the x-axis and the independent variable goes to the y-axis. So if x is negative 3, substituting this value to the x in this function, y would be equal to positive 14. If x is negative 2, y would be equal to 5. If x is negative 1, y would be equal to 0. If x is 0, 
y is negative 1 if x is 1 y is positive 2 if x is 2 y is 9 and if x is 3 y is 20 negative 3 and 14 is located at this point negative 2 and 5 is located at this point negative 1 y is 0 that is located here if x is 0 y is negative 1 so it would be located at this point positive 1 y is 2 positive 2 y is 9 if x is 3 y is 20 For a polynomial function, the graph crosses x-axis up to number of times. For quadratic functions, the graph changes direction at its one vertex. For a linear function, the straight line graph changes at a constant rate as x changes. For all of these graphs, the domain is all real numbers. The vertical line test is a graphical way to tell whether or not a relation is a function. If any vertical lines cuts the graph in more than one place, then the relation is not a function.